Hey vlog, so this is the process work for my question on week two. So last week I started with what bugs me and I started with slow walkers and then I ended up concluding that I wanted to investigate how can we improve the health of our students. So this week I wanted to di dig a little deeper into that question and further investigate the fruit in the dining halls because I think that that might be related to some of the health issues with our students. So before I made any observations or went to the dining halls to check out the situation, I decided to call some experts that I knew and research a little bit on my own by reading some articles. So first I'm going to take you through my workbook so you can see some of the things that I found and then I will take you to the observations that I made. So first you can see I made a research planning guide. So I talked about what I knew already. Um, working with nutritionists in the past and athletic trainers as well. Then I also wrote down the different things that I needed to know and some of the further questions I wanted to investigate, like how can you measure the quality of food? Or are declining balance places better? Why are they better? Are students educated enough to know what they're putting in their bodies? Do they know how to eat a balanced meal? So I decided I was going to be able to find it by looking at the dining hall, asking around with students, workers at the dining hall, and maybe calling some experts. So now we're going to move over here. So first I decided to call Lindsay Nibosaki. So she is an athletic trainer and uh, a nutritionist and she's someone that I worked with for a couple of years. So I already knew a lot about nutrition and things from her, but I decided to give her a call and further ask her a few of my questions related to some of the experiences that I've had. So what was really interesting about my phone call with Lindsay was that I brought up how most of the fruit here is canned, which I had looked, looked online and read a few articles about how canned fruit isn't necessarily horrible for you but it is a little different in the fact that it contains a lot more sugar a lot more calories and you also lose some of the nutrients that you would have gotten with your fresh fruit because of how processed it's been so i asked her about this and she supported that same idea by talking about in your diet how you need to try to focus on low carbs and low sugar and that canned fruit would definitely increase your sugar intake and when you increase your sugar to intake then that also increases your fat storage which could lead to some issues for college students here on campus. So here you can see my workbook. I have the Heart Research Observation Planning Guide. So I talked just a little bit about the people I wanted to ask, where I was going to observe them, and I wanted to do it in different dining halls, which I looked at um, two, actually three different dining halls. And then um, I also wanted to talk about what I was looking for, like what people had on their plates, the quality of food, were people grossed out when they were going to pick out their food. And then I also um, wanted to do this in a natural way by not letting them know I was filming or watching them until the very end where I could go and ask questions. And I recorded this uh, somewhat on video, some with pictures, and I also took notes on my phone to make observations while I was in the dining halls. And I ended up asking multiple people, so I will take you through some of those this in a little This morning bit. I went to Martin Dining Hall and I noticed which was really interesting that almost nobody had fruit on their plates and I really I truly mean I walked around the whole dining hall I mean there was about like 15 to 25 people I guess scattered throughout so it wasn't very crowded and it was easy for me to look around and I'd say out of like an average of 20 people I saw two people with bananas and one person who put cantaloupe on their plate but everybody else was eating all the other breakfast foods and it looked like a balanced meal they had their eggs their potatoes and their meat but it was missing fruit which this told me that people know that you should eat all the different food groups but they're avoiding the fruit for a certain reason maybe they're grossed out maybe they don't like the fruit maybe they just didn't want fruit that morning but they usually eat it i don't know so i took a few pictures um well first i took a video of what was so i took a video of what was being offered for breakfast uh, in the dining hall and then i also took a picture of one girl who really interested me because she didn't have any fruit on her plate didn't seem interested in getting any of it and i wish i would have gone up and asked her about it but i didn't because i felt like it was going to be an invasion of privacy because she looked a little closed off early in the morning but I decided at lunch to do the exact same thing, and I did end up asking two boys about their experience because neither of them had fruit either. They had plates of stir fry and then another plate with a tomato on it. So here's what happened when I asked them about why they 
don't have fruit on their yes, plate. You guys don't have any fruit on your plates. We'll accept the tomato. But do you guys think the dining hall fruit is gross? Mm, no, not necessarily. Then why don't you eat it? I think it's not. I think it's average. Okay. When I get like fruit. I feel like half of it is not fresh. Okay. Would you eat it if it came from the farmer's market and you knew that? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Thank you. So as you can see from the videos I took and the observations I made from people eating at the dining hall, the fruit doesn't look amazing, a lot of it is canned, and people had the comment that they don't think the fruit is awful, but they do wish it was more fresh and that they would like a more fresh option. So I'm going to use this information um, further, and I did when I asked two more people about their experiences while eating at the dining hall, which I recorded in my notebook. And I also used this information uh, to write my hero story, which I also attached below. So I hope you enjoyed my vlog for the week, and until next week.